What's up guys, how are we all doing today? Today we're going to be reacting to Yes Theory and they posted a video called Last City in Europe with No Laws. Now, um, this video, this title anyway, sounds interesting so I can't wait to get into it. But if you guys do like this video and do want to see more Yes Theory reactions, make sure you subscribe down below. And yeah man, let's get into the video. What you are about to see is a self-governing anarchist nation with no laws. A community that severed itself from the rest of the world where squatters built homes wherever they want and drug use is allowed freely on the streets. Mm -hmm. Since it began over 40 years ago, it has constantly been surrounded by controversy, with some seeing it as a drug haven while others see it as the ultimate expression of free living. But this isn't a remote village in the middle of nowhere. It exists in the center of Denmark's capital city of Copenhagen. Filming inside of this place is highly forbidden. But what the f are you doing? But with the help of a local Yes Fam member Yo. who was born inside of the city, we were about to capture some of the first documentation inside what some call the last lawless city in Europe. This is known as Freetown Christiania. Yeah, this looks crazy, bro. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. Whatever you want. It's very easy to start a war, but it's very hard to stop it again. And you're at war? Yeah, kind of. A do your own thing haven of creativity, peace, and freedom. This looks crazy, bro. These ads. For How are they putting the ad on? We just started the video, bro. What's going on? Right. Let's carry on, bro. Where are we going, Habib? Christiania. What is that? It's the last free land in Europe. Last in free Christian, land in if Europe, you know. That you're felt. Wow. You're gonna have, not an exaggeration, at least three people coming at you from different directions, pointing that you shouldn't be felling. That's how serious they are. Right now, we have a guy who's a Yes Theory <laughs> subscriber who somehow grew up in this town. He's gonna take us around, so hopefully that will help us. But mm. the reason why we haven't made a video there in the four or five years that we've known the city... The I mean, there's an four or five years I've known. I didn't even know until... See, this is why I love their channel, bro, because you get to experience new things, bro. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't know about this. How did they how did they come to find about this, bro? That's what I want to know. How did they come to Nobody find about this place, made bro? A video. It's because you can't film. Wow. Yeah. Even if you look up on YouTube, you will not find a comprehensive video of this place. Yeah, this is mad. Wait, what did you say? Probably gated off in that. Don't film inside. You think we're going to get in trouble for that? Yeah, if you film Okay, so this entire wall filled with graffiti here is the entrance. If you see all the graffiti back here, the cab driver told us we are immediately going to be disliked if we try and record. I'm glad you're taking the camera. I'm a little worried holding it. <laughs> yeah, I know. We know. We have a local show. How are you doing? Yo, this is bad. Pay attention already, you know. I swear, bro. This video is gonna be. Oh, bro. I don't even know. This is. What this is scared. Are you doing? I don't know where you're from, so I like English first. Yeah. But what the f are you doing? You're taking pictures. Here? There we go. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. Hey, hey, hey. Oh my God. So you follow this mother around? Yeah, huh? yeah, we are. Hi, hi. What's up, bro? What's up? Nice brush. Nice brush. Yeah. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Oh. At least they've got someone that they know. You know what I mean? Because it would have been sticky if they didn't know no one there, bro. You know what I mean? Good job they got someone still. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. I mean, this guy better protect these guys, and I swear. Yeah, we're in a world of adventure. In the Christiania vibes. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are we cool to film here? Yeah, here, here you are. Here you are. I'll, I'll tell you when to put the camera down. So. Okay, everyone was like, don't, don't film. Yeah, yeah but don't so worry, don't worry, don't you, worry. You are the key to this entire. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> wow. First built as military barracks during World War II, this area of Copenhagen was abandoned by the late 1960s, only being guarded by a few watchmen. But by the early 1970s, homeless people and squatters were hopping the fence and staying in greater numbers, which escalated on the 26th of September 1971 when these inhabitants declared Christiania open. Their mission statement read as follows. The objective of Christiania is to create a self-governing society whereby each and every individual... Wait, so that means if they kill someone... I just, I just realized what it actually means, bro. A city with no laws. There's no laws at all, bro. So anything could go down there, bro. What the what are people gonna do? There's no 
Nah, if you get jacked, if you go to, bro, if you kill someone, nah, I don't know if I could live here still. Because what if, you know, if someone gets murdered or you get, you know what I mean? That is crazy. No laws. I'm just deep in it, fam. The well I just realised what community. it means. What like, that's the crazy. Say about this? Uh, they think that Christiania is a place where... Uh, a new revolution has started or something like that. I mean, but they don't know that it's a love and it is a community, so they probably know each other, it, so I don't know. This is mad. Though, this spirit bro. of Christiania quickly became a mix of hippies and anarchists, which has drawn new members and visitors from all over the world. Hello. I'm just, I would be scared. What is your so, uh, unofficial title? My name is uh, Ole. I'm head of the Christiania Historical Archive. It's a cozy uh, house. Yeah, I built it myself. I have been living in Christiania since 79. Did you identify anar as an anarchist? Do you still do oh, that? Oh yeah, sure, yeah? Sure, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. So you were born and raised here? Yeah, 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 I'm born and raised here. And your dad was here when they started it? Yeah, no, my fa father is from Finland. And he was a student, like uh, 19 years old or something like that. Yeah. And then the hippies invited him to come uh, in and live here with, uh, with them. Wow. So how long has he been living here? For like 40 years. 40 years. Yes. Wow. Are you proud of being from here? Yeah, I am. You are? I am. Sometimes it can also be a little... Mm. When I meet some new people, they expect me to be working in the street or something, you know. It's yeah, you feel like they judge you? Yeah, but I'm, 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 I'm used to it, you know. I, I don't I don't bother it anymore. Yeah. I feel like probably people are like, how are these motherfuckers filming in here? <laughs> I'm just a little bit nervous with the camera. You know? You're a little nervous? <laughs> I'd be nervous, oh man. Black man in there with a the camera, you're crazy, oi. <laughs> yeah, 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 Got the skating rink and everything, you know, serious. Ooh. Well, people don't wear helmets, bro. I don't understand it, bro. State ramps in other countries for homeless and uh, young people and stuff. Like, you make it uh, to everybody. That's amazing. Why were people drawn to kind of create a different way uh, of Because of the freedom. We got this big, big area. For the first 30 years, this was a squatted area. This is beautiful, man. Yeah, it is. So yeah. these buildings are old military buildings? Oh, yeah, yeah. Most, most of them, yeah. Most buildings are? Yeah, yeah. That's the Mi biggest middle finger, I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> but like, to take an old military <laughs> thing and turn it into a hippie town. Yeah, exactly. It couldn't go I got the FPV away drone from what this place was built. I guess, in. why would they not, like, filming in there? Because it shows, like, what's really going on inside the, like, the, the, the what's going inside, what's going on inside of the borders. That's what I'm trying to get across. You know what I mean? They don't want to display that. They don't want to show the world what they're doing because people may have, you know what I mean, certain... Who's that, bro? What? I'm recording, bro. I'm recording. I'll call you back, bro. What? Bro, oh, this one. just get the poker pad, bro. This is two pounds for five, which is three pounds. But I like the design. Well, get it then. I don't probably. Just, just get the black one. Okay. Bro, why? This is crazy, bro. Recording as well, you know. Hey, it's just madness. Listen. As I was saying, I oh, don't just carry on with the video or something, she just messed up. To what it is today. It is exactly, it's exactly. You have a very strong fun. anarchist yes. uh, sort of feeling mm. in Christianity. Yeah. yeah. In what way would you say it's anarchist? Oh, in the way that, uh, you know, if you wanted to do something, just go ahead. Imagine your house is a bicycle. Mm. Open a door, go in the bicycle, just sleep, tour the world. Be free. Like a nomad. Yeah, precis. Precis. Now I'm living in the uh, in the bike. Oh, you actually are living in the yes. bike. Yes. So where do you sleep? Where do you sleep? Uh, in a different place, next to the beach, uh, in the forest. It's possible. Bro, I don't know. For your whole life, how how long is you gonna live there, though, fam? For really being honest, you know what I mean. I don't. Nah, I don't know if I could live here still. There's no like man. Just. Him especially, in his circumstances, he's just living everywhere. No stable home. I don't know if I could take that up, though. That's, that's a bit too much. Not having, not knowing where you're going to sleep and just having to sleep rough. I mean, it's different when you 
when you're like camping and stuff you know what i mean but like doing that on a basis where it's every day i don't know if i could do it nice to i don't know nice to meet you too nice to meet you. but hey yeah wow i don't know man did you pay this guy to be there he was like the epitome of <laughs> <laughs> he just pitched you on the whole thing he just pitched us. <laughs> it is inspiring to see people that created a subculture within a pretty stiff culture you know what i mean like because danish culture is set and there are rules and it's a bit squared you know same yeah. as swedish yeah and to come and create something so alternative yeah. requires like a strong will to create exactly. something different and right before we walked down the infamous pusher street where things got more heated than expected mm -mm. i wanted to let you know about the newest drop of seek discomfort that's actually weirdly very in line with the spirit of christiania seek discomforts there to be different this is the most colorful seek discomfort drop we've ever had allowing you to embrace your true colors to dare to unapologetically be yourself to highlight our differences rather than hide them because when we dare to be different the world does too. We love telling stories of people who have pushed past the norm from around the world and we wanted to give you guys the chance to colorfully express <laughs> yourselves too. Oi. This is our first big drop of the year, so go to seekdiscomfort.com for this limited time drop, only available for the next seven days, and then all the designs are gone. All right, now back to Christiana. I know it's gonna get sticky now, bro. This is the street we cannot film. One of the reasons Bro, it's, it's impossible to film in Christiania is because of its open cannabis trade on the infamous oh, Pusher Street. Okay. Even though marijuana is illegal in Denmark, authorities have yet to fully stop it. With some arguing that concentrating the hash trade in one place would limit its dispersion into society, while others are moving to crack down on it, which has Ooh. led to continuous police presence that now averages about four to six patrols a day. A day? I wow. thought it was going to be much more tame because of I've heard the cops have been really strict. Yeah, so yeah, the yeah, fact yeah. that they come every day and people are like, <laughs> one more time. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep it going. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they come to guys like uh, in civil clothes and just grab people like. Really? Uh, Apparently smart. they yell, "Jeez!" Uh, in Danish, and everyone f***ing bolts. The whole street is just ghost town. It's just money seeing like regular-looking Danish moms with just a fat joint in her hand. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow, okay, so that street that we're not allowed to film. How come that exists? Police try to shut it down for many years, but there's just so many who want weed, so they. Yeah. They just keep coming back. Yeah, yeah. What's the price you have to pay for selling weed here? Well, you get beaten up and then they, they, you get arrested. You get like half year for, for a little, little amount. Half, half a year? A year. Yeah. Oh, In prison. So you prison time. Yeah, yeah you get, if you, if you, if you get cash repeatedly. What's going on? And literally, right as we were talking oh about police gosh. presence in Christiania, guess who showed up? Three police, police. officers that we see just rolled in. And they are wrecking havoc, I think. Wow. Mm. The cops came. They have a big plastic bag of just Don't things that they found. Them. Huh? Yeah, so this is these are the stands that usually have people. So it just happened. We were just talking about it. And within a minute, they arrived. They're wow. all like super bootleg built because they get taken down all the time. Yeah, exactly. Okay, it's way more real than I thought. Yeah. Uh, yeah it's not like they're, they're not, not going to show that like they are arresting yeah. people. This is the fourth time in two days, right? Fourth time in two Fourth days, everyone started running. Days. How does it make you feel seeing this? Annoyed. It's, I don't understand why they, why they just don't legalize it. It would be so much easier for everybody. Wow, so they have to do this every day, bro. This is yeah. not... That would be, bro. Just getting arrested every day, like... That's crazy. Oh, oh They're like really f***ing with him. Ooh. They come oh every day and they, they bust people every day and it's a problem every day. Uh, uh. Damn, this is intense. This is... Although we initially thought Christiania had no rules, we slowly started to realize that they actually had made some restrictions. We oh, okay. divided between soft drugs and hard drugs and decided that we accepted alcohol and uh, cannabis, but we didn't accept any other drugs in Christiania. And that was a crucial point for Christiania because Christiania was dying out from hard drugs. And at one point there was a lot of junkies and stuff that were saying, you know, no hard drugs. Right. They came to place. How does the community deal with someone if they find out that they do hard drugs or they're selling hard drugs? they are banned from the place. Banned. Do you think that the world could function in like more anarchist type of state? Or do you no, think this it's is rough, bro. This is, I don't think they could, bro. Imagine the whole world being like this. I mean, I don't know how violent it is over there, but if it was over here, 
and we could just do whatever we want and there was no laws i mean they have some laws but i'm not too sure what they are i don't think it would work out still i think it would be a very dangerous place <laughs> maybe uh, yeah if you don't answer that that's fine no but. no no, no. Like, especially like kopotkin kopotkin uh, was a russian anarchist who uh, believed in the good in man and i think that's basic for christian and i think it's really basic for everybody to still believe in the good in man no matter what happens mm. besides christian's drug policy over the last 20 years it's slowly become more legal Bars and restaurants have opened up for tourists to visit, and the residents have even created their own fund to legally own the land. You know, today Christiania is totally legal. We made a foundation, so we have bought like 40% of Christiania. By making this foundation, we made it sure that this place can never be divided and sold mm. on the mm. market. Yeah. And are you a part of these negotiations? Yeah. Oh, you are? Okay. Yeah. How many people are a part of that? decision making uh, in process. principle everybody everybody wow. yeah but it's not everybody who's interested mm. <laughs> when i moved in everything was like voluntary when you wanted to do something about the roads when you want to plant trees when you want then you carry a group and everybody would do it voluntary after 50 years you know things are getting into some kind of bureaucratic system yeah because i guess completely voluntary is Hard to organize people yeah. to make yeah. common decisions yeah. or... Yeah. When you have been doing that for 10 years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But despite the slow shift towards legality, there still remains a lot of old presence of Christiania, which can be seen through the self-built homes. When we met for the first time, we were talking, he was like, also, by the way, I live in a palace. So I've been looking <laughs> Look forward to that. Wow. <laughs> I've been looking forward to that. It looks, it looks pretty much a like palace. a palace. A Finnish Danish guy who has got a Ghanaian named palace in a lawless <laughs> town in Denmark. <laughs> Does that summarize it? <laughs> yeah. yeah he wasn't lying. <laughs> this is like the nicest building in town. Yeah. My father built this uh, house. It started with being a, like a circus uh, wagon, circus wagon, and then every year he just built it more and more and more. Then it got as big as it is, it it is now. Circus wagon? Yeah, it was a circus Why? wagon. Why? Was he a part of a circus or something? No, 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 no. no, no. Okay. No. He just had a circus wagon. I'm sorry if I ask you questions. I'm a little you lost. Where you hung up on those like that way. Although Akutu's family is from Finland, his dad, who moved here 40 years ago, loves the country of Ghana. So much oh. so that he owns a hotel in Ghana and has wow. even given his kids Ghanaian names, like Akutu. Oh, you guys aren't minimalists, wow. so to say. <laughs> oh, yeah, get ready for this. Wow. This door is my one of the top he made that wow like the only bad thing about it is that you can peep through it oh <laughs> yeah a that's a bad it, yeah it, like this part used to be like a circus ser uh, trailer where he was living and then he just built the uh, bigger 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 yeah <laughs> that's like, winter, like some vortex of like a museum home mixed up cultures yeah museum yeah. more like it and stuff you know it's uh, it's awesome is there anything that you find that the world has as a misconceived notion of what this place is? You know? yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think you know, eighty percent at least writing and filming about Christiania is about Pusa Street. For you, it is the community at the end of the day. That's uh, the main point about Christiania. That it actually succeeded in creating some kind of functioning anarchistic society. What does it represent to you as a Dane grow who grew up in Copenhagen? First word that comes to my mind is definitely like freedom. Yeah. Yeah, just like and, and community. You could just feel the, the bond. Yeah, yeah and there's, there's, there is a unique vibe when you dive into the tradition and the, the idea behind Christiania is amazing. And what's your favorite thing about Christiania? The villagey feel that most people know each other and, and we say hi to our neighbors. And I'm, yeah. I'm probably going to stay here for the rest of my life. Really? Yeah. That's amazing. You had a community? I don't know, man. I comment down below, yeah. Comment down below because I some videos I don't get comments when I ask for comments and so please comment down below. You know, if if you do the one thing I ask, I'll just be happy. Comment down below if you would live here for the rest of your life. If you could go there now and live there for the rest of your life, would you? I don't I'm not going there from no way and live there from it don't bro I don't know I'm not doing it. Comment down below if you would I don't feel like nah the situation nah i'm not doing it comment down below how you feel about it though you know what i mean i want to hear your comments but yeah
community, you had a lot of people, a lot of culture, a lot of music, a lot of theatre, a lot of things going on. And uh, what made me change my life and move into Christiania was to be part of this group of 200 people with, uh, you know, this uh, community. It's only 200 people. This is actually where you grew up. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And you're still here. I mean, that's that's awesome. that's amazing. Like, it is. How it many is. People are in and that I'm not situation? growing. I'm not growing these days. I'm You're not staying, going anywhere. I'm staying here. Yes. <laughs> do you think? Do you think you live here your whole life? I hope so. I hope so. Thank you so much for Thank speaking you. to us. Thank you, you and helping Thank us. You. Tell the story the right way. A whole life, you know. That's My crazy. <laughs> <laughs> You're not entering the EU. <laughs> ah, back in Denmark. Welcome back, Christiania. Christiania is a town based upon the ideas of the inherent good in people. Although it worked in some aspects, people also took advantage of that trust and used it for criminality, requiring Christiania to develop rules. So uh, is a lawless town truly possible? Uh, or will laws always be inevitable? Uh, that is honestly uh, impossible for me to say. But one thing's for sure, the love, care and unity within Christiania is something we can all strive to have a bit more of in our own communities. Yeah, I think I think they have to have it. I think laws are just like without laws, the, the whole world would not be able to run and cope, bro. Like it has to happen. Laws have to be in effect because even they call it a lawless town, a lawless city. Yeah, they still have laws to be able to provide and protect people. You know what I mean? So that people can live in a certain way where they're not being like scared of certain like weapons and hard drugs and stuff like that. so they do have laws so i don't feel like a lawless town could ever exist to be honest with you i think it would just be chaos so much chaos bro the things that would go on it would just be stupid but yeah um this has been yes theory um i feel like these videos they always enlighten on a subject they always put light on a subject that you, you're not really aware of you know what i mean and that's why i like their channel so this video was good just to know about stuff like this you know what i mean i may not go there i may not visit there or you know what i mean do anything else with this information that i've learned but it's always good to know about these types of things you know what i mean so yeah i did like this video and if you guys do want to see more yesterday reactions you know what to do make sure you smash the like button and make sure you subscribe down below for more reactions and yeah man we're on the road to 100 subscribers so if you do like the content that's coming out please subscribe help us get to 100 subscribers and yeah man hopefully we can do something special if we get there you know what i mean um comment down below what you want to see for 100 subscribers yeah but it's been your boy man Sally, and i'll catch you in the next one bye